Inertia is probably one of my favorite speedster villains in all of Flash's mythos. He managed to trick the rogues into getting him super speed, and on top of everything else, he got them to break their number one rule, killing a Flash. So what's eventually revealed is that Wally actually contributed to Bart losing his speed in the fight against the rogues in which he died. Because when Wally returned from raising his children on another planet, he actually siphoned some of the speed force away from Bart, reigniting his abilities. Which is why after Bart's death, he becomes the Scarlet Speedster once again. And actually, when Wally returns as the Flash during this iteration, this is the moment where he begins to pull away from the pack as the fastest of all of the speedsters. The way that it's actually conveyed is that Wally West reignited the speed force and now he's like an actual mainline for it. He's not just a simple speedster conduit anymore. And he essentially becomes a living, breathing version of Inertia's speed stealing machine. And with that in mind, Wally gives Inertia a fate that is so much worse than death. Because Wally steals Inertia's speed, turning him into a living statue, who then gets put in the Flash Museum to stare at Bart for all of eternity.